or Congo Saga. So here we go. Case Wiz versus Taquitos. Game one. Now, I remember now Taquitos is one of the resident Yoshi mains here in SoCal, but Case Wiz, he did play Corrin. Uh, he played Pit as well, and you know what? Corrin, not that good of a character in this game. Like, she has tools, but nothing like too broken. And so I think going back to the Pit, you know, Pit is generally speaking, you know, like jack of all trades. You know, he has a lot of good moves, but nothing like spectacular in his game. So it'll be interesting to see how Pit can like use his disjoints to kind of outbeat you know, Yoshi's like air mobility and uh, frame data. And again, getting caught in that four tail, get juggles with the up air and the up tilts. But there we go, here's the starting of a combo. And yet again, just double jumping out of safety out of the way so that he wouldn't get comboed in further. Quick near out shield, gets the jab lock. Unfortunately, doesn't get the second jab and it's gonna miss the, the jab lock combo off of that because of it. But again, both players just trying to throw out their neutral then The arrow really just whiffed and no, just throwing out the jab just to be like, okay, the arrow whiffed, but you know what, I can still throw out a jab faster than you can. There we go. Wow, going the down air, did enough hits on that to combo into the grab. Gets in there, looking for the edge ball, or the, the dribble, but not gonna even find it. Gets him quick with the dash attack, and did again, snipes him with the arrow, but you know what, still has enough movement with the egg toss to get back to save. And yet again, this is kind of the awkward space for Yoshi, where Yoshi doesn't really have any, like, too spectacular uh, approach options. So you'll see Yoshi kind of just like sit back and then like toss uh, up B in order to kind of make you approach. And you see, when you do approach forward like that, especially against a character with a really good disjoint and a really good anti here, like hit with that up smash, you know, Yoshi's gonna really struggle to get in without getting punished super hard. There we go. Oh, you know, I, I like the attempt right there. He tried going off knowing that like, okay, he hit the side B, he's gonna be in a whole lot of end lag, but I feel like he just didn't press the button quick enough. You feel like, okay, maybe he has a little bit too much end lag on that. And you know what? Just not really respecting the, the amount of uh, hit stun that that move was in. You know, trying to go with an out shield option, not gonna find it. Really agree with that up smash, but you know what? Just able to shield in time to punish the potential punish option right there. Getting in, trying to go off like that, but not really expecting the amount of end lag that that move has. I mean, it's a lot, but it's not that much. You know, Taquito's really struggling to find his kill. He really needs to find it soon because the more damage that racks up, the more uh, you know, Pick can just kind of sit back and let Yoshi kind of approach him and play his game. Quick Nair out shield will send him into the opposite direction and will find that kill. No 76%, still relatively good for Yoshi, especially when he has that down air that can do anywhere between like 15 and 30%, depending on like how early you hit that move. But there we go, four tail, not gonna be able to combo into the up air. But yet again, ooh, catches the roll with the up feed. Not gonna be able to find the follow-up afterwards. Gets dash attack. And I like what Case Wizards were doing right there. He shoots the arrow up and around because it gives it a, a different angle than what most people are used to. Like usually it's the arrow coming forward and then up. Go. There's only one up air, but good again. He keeps on trying to juggle him, but all these down airs, this super aggressive option is just outspacing anything that Yoshi is throwing out. Two down tilts, and tries to there, but no, he's gonna get side feed. There we go. There's a there into the fair, and I like that. I know knowing that Yoshi does has a double jump as an option, he kind of just sit back and kind of waited for Yoshi to kind of land towards ground before he pulled, pressed the button. Alright, fair on stage, get some center stage control a little bit. There we go, and yet again, using this really good spacing on the fair to, you know, really keep out of Yoshi's range. So, Yoshi does have a lot of good out shield options, but only if you are, like, right next up to him. And again, Chase Wiz just kind of playing it a little bit slower, and Takito's know, trying to find his punish option, but he's just not being able to, you know, deal with his range. There's the up air, and the up air will take it. You know, I feel like that might have been slightly poor DI. I mean, it was, it was 120-ish, but like that, I feel like that shouldn't have killed. That was definitely poor DI in case this part. There you go. And again, there's a side B. No, he's gonna whiff, and you know what? Because he was in the end lag of the up B, you know, he wasn't able to get a punish off of it. Yeah. And the back here will clean out the stock. You know, that's one of the really things that's like super busted about Yoshi is that if Yoshi down airs your shield on a platform, he can actually 
control his fast fall enough where if he fast falls at the right time, he can get he can shield poke you through the bottom of your your shield. So and again, you have to be super worried whenever you're on a platform you're holding shield because if Yoshi can easily shield poke you. And even if it doesn't shield poke you, he can just go through the platform and kind of just like ignore whatever follow-up option you might have had. Here we go, going to game two, running it back to uh, Stadium here. Here we go, going back on the stadium. You know, Takedos really just struggled a lot with Pit's destroying, so, you know, I wonder if he's going to either go super aggressive, you know, let Pit, you know, like, not have enough room to breathe, basically. You know, just, just overwhelm them with that. Or if he's going to try to, like, sit back and wait for Pit to kind of approach him and then try to punish those options instead. And again, trading right there. Not going to really work out for Yoshi. Oh, tries to follow up with the jab, but you know it's just going to be way too slow. And, you know, I feel like he was reading a spot dodge because, you know, usually when you see a character run up to you and you're in shield, they're going to try to grab you. But again, I love what K-Swiss did right there. He kind of just, like, walked back a little bit, waited for Taquitos to throw out a move, and then punished it accordingly when he landed on the ground. And it was completely up space. There we go, retreating the leg, you know, waiting for Yoshi to kind of press a button. Yet again, you know, when you're seeing a shield like that, you're just like, okay, I'll guess I'll get a free grab. And you know, Yoshi doing the same in kind. He's off stage, not gonna be able to challenge it, you know. And he tried challenging it before; it didn't really work out for him. So I can respect the fact of not going for the challenge this time. Ooh, he tried reading the roll in, but you know, a little bit slow on the reaction there. Ooh, and yet again, the side beat. No Yoshi ever side these on purpose. It's always supposed to be an up B. Then like goes like to the side. But and yet again, Yoshi just throwing out all these nares, but you know what? Can't throw out those nares with a good out of shield option like there for Ken. Again, Tequitos, no. This is where Takeda was really struggling in the last game. You know, he really couldn't find the kill. But there he goes, sneaks in an up air as he lands. You know, K-Swizz jumping a little bit too high, falling for that. And you know what? K-Swizz still in a good, healthy lead. But you know what? Takeda can probably easily make this back. Here we go. Getting a fair in there, but not going to be able to quite connect it. And yet again, not going to be able to quite follow up on that just because he was able to tech it and didn't really space the up air properly. Gets the ferret. Honestly, he thought that it might have uh, sour spotted that, so he went for the super uh, forward, like Nair. You know what? Eggman managed to get him to ledge to safety. And yet again, you know, Nair dodges in a very, very poor manner. You know, Case was just waiting for him for a move like that. Gets the neutral B, and yet again, kind of just waiting out to see if, you know, Case was with part of somebody as soon as he gets out of that. Like, gets the forward air before he can manage to get out the side B, and you know what? That's the thing about side B, you know, it's a lot of startup and a decent amount of hit stun, but like, yet again, that's what you needed to do in order to get in. So, you know, Case was evening up the stocks. And again, gets the bear and no double jumps out of safety. But you know what? Once you use your double jump, and yet again, just can't escape from all this pressure from Case Wiz. Here we go. Not going to punish for that. Very, uh, this base down air. Gets the rapid jab. Yoshi just looking for that option. Gets to the up air. Not going to be able to find the second up air afterwards, but yet again. Oh, I love that. I know Case Wiz realized that. Okay, you've been landing with neutral B a lot. So I'm going to just walk away so I'll have your she'll be with, and I'm going to run in and grab you for the any lack of it. Ooh, gets one in, but not going to be able to get down in time, and using the orbiters to kind of land the, the ground safely, you know. Taquitos just needs to find this one kill, and that'll be it! Yet again, he was super greedy with that side B. I feel like K-Swiz really should have just held back and be like, okay, I know I can get the kill. I just need to sit back and wait for the kill and not, you know, force the situation. And you know what? Running back to game three, and, you know, Taquitos did a really good job, you know, punishing uh, a lot of case with his, uh, you know, overextensions in the, in the, towards the end of the, the second game. I feel like case with 
definitely felt the wind slipping away from it. And you know when you feel pressured like that, you gotta just keep calm and know that like you have the game in the bag and you just gotta slow down the pace. There we go. I mean, and again, both players just kind of like edging in and out of each other's uh, hitbox ranges. See that K Swiss is more content with just sitting back and throwing out arrows, waiting for Taquitos to press a button as he lands. And you know, using his really good dash attack to kind of catch all of Taquitos' landing. But you know, Taquitos not going to be one to fall short on fall following up on punishes. Ooh, Nair catches the jump out. Shield gets the bear, trying to find a landing, but you know it's not going to be able to do so, and gets caught by the neutral B instead. Ooh, I like the attempt right there. He knows that uh, Taquitos want to go for an aggression option right there. Gets the side beam, not gonna be enough to kill. And yet again, you know, Taquitos just keeps on throwing out all these neutral bees, and you know, he feels like K-Swiss might try to approach him, and you know, K-Swiss is just staying content, you know, staying just outside of that range and punishing him with the disjoints. And again, now we see both players kind of just playing chicken to see who approaches first and who will blink. And unfortunately, Taquitos blunt first. Again, Kidos was just trying to find that forward air. You know, here's the edge guard, and yet again, Kidos is just not really going forward for the edge guard, knowing that Pit can kind of just like recover really well. She gets a forward smash out of the neutral grab. Yeah. And you know, try and punish the, the side beat on Shield, but because it was the aerial version, you know, it had, you know. The, the jump from it, so he wasn't able to get the fort the up smash off of it. Kios going back to landing, and you know, this is where Case was had the game in game two, where he was, you know, having the lead and just using his uh, longer range just to kind of like catch all of Yoshi's aerials. You know, you see Kios trying to struggle to find the landing. He gets the fair, but not going to be able to get the up air in time. No, I feel like that might have been a little bit too much rage, or he was at 200 percent But that should be death. No, he goes for a down tilt instead, and no advantage to follow up with a down B, knowing that like, okay, I hit you with something. You're probably gonna tech roll away or roll away, so let me catch that uh, that defensive option. Here we go, and yet again, just walking up slowly to the shield and be like, okay, if you don't jump, I'm just gonna grab you anyways. There's a four tail, and he armors through the. Forward air, and that could have been the really big comeback for Taquitos. He gets thrown off stage, but I mean, like, all that momentum in the, the arrow killed, excuse me? I mean, I know, like, he was near the blast zone, he was at, like, super high percent, but I mean, that's really unusual. Ooh, Taquitos a little bit too late to go for the back air on the stage, hoping for a stage spike. And yet again, oh. Case Wiz having the lead here, you know, it's his game to lose at this point. You see, he's just like, okay, I lost the other game because I tried to force the situation. So let me just sit back, you know, fire a couple of arrows, and then just wait for him to land and then try to punish that off. And yet again, you know, you see Taquitos just really struggling to get back to center stage. He catches the double jump. And you know what? There's the air dodge. And oh my god, he was it, but it's not enough because the up B is not enough to bring him back. You know what, that was just really good uh, ledge trapping and just, just general like not letting